George is not a doctor, nor does he play one on TV. Doing the treatment on this knee the way that George describes it could cause your knee to be amputated, blindness, and or death. Please consult with a doctor. George has been prescribed Cephalexin. First, we'll remove the bandage. This is the gauze. And it's a little stinky, so that's not a good sign. We're going to remove the butterfly and expose the wound now. That's nasty. This really should have been sutured, but somebody squeeze and get some of the pus out. Hello, how are you? Let me sing you a song. Let me go, let me go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna irrigate this with just good old fashioned normal water. So now I'm gonna dry the wound using sterile gauze just to make sure that I can get good adhesion with the next bandage. You get an idea of how deep that wound is now. I'm going to use some polysporin. I'm not going to use too much, just a little bit in the actual wound. Now I'm going to use a butterfly to close that. Now I'm just going to put a piece of gauze over the wound. It doesn't have any sort of antibiotics on it because the polysporine is already in there. I really should apply the pad when the knee is pretty much flexed so that it doesn't bind when I'm walking. This is the same wound. 65 hours later. This is 10 days after the incident. This is 13 days. This is 19 days after the impact. 40 days after the initial injury. Da, 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 da. It's actually scabbed up nicely. And I believe this will just come right off here. Yes, I got the scab. This is what it currently looks like. Coming soon, how to get a vented fingernail using a park tool bike stand.